As builders of both the Pine Tree and Surge Milkers, we present this bit of fantasy in the same vein as Aesop wrote his fables. We agree that animals and machines can't talk, but by giving them personalities, we feel, as Aesop did, that they can help tell a story in a way that will be, at least, different. Once upon a time, there was a farm, but that's just about all you could say for it. There wasn't any money to repair the fences, nor paint the barn and buildings, nor hardly a nickel to fix the equipment. In fact, the mortgage was going to fall due very, very <laughs> soon. It was all the cow's fault. They just didn't give enough milk. Aww. The vet was always being called, and the less milk they gave, the more these two ruffians abused them. Punk Pine Tree and his brother Pete were just a bit difficult to get along with. They didn't exactly chase the cows with sticks, nor frighten them with false faces, nor spend all their time thinking up new ways to make the farm go broke. But they just would crawl up on the cow's udders during milking and shut off the milk. Hence, Mr. Farmer just didn't get all the milk he needed to run his farm. But that wasn't all. Their crawling and pinching would make the cow's udders sore, which gave Gus Gargett a chance to sneak in. And off would go another good cow to the butcher. Then what milk they did get was often spoiled because Mr. Farmer couldn't get them scrubbed as clean as they should have been. <laughs> then when two whole cans of milk came back, it was just too much. Huh? This sort of thing just needed something done about it. So Johnny and Mr. Farmer had a long and serious talk. <laughs> All of which caused Mr. Farmer to slip up and clear the way for Johnny to show everyone what he had been talking about all night. <coughs> While Mr. Farmer washed and stimulated the cows, Johnny milked them. First the cows noticed the difference. Johnny went to work with a tug and a pull that kept him from creeping up on the teats or shutting off the milk. Mm, no crawling. Ah, no pinching. Next, Mr. Farmer noticed a difference in fuller pails of milk <coughs> and fatter milk cans. And how much easier it was to scrub things clean after milking. The vet didn't need to come as often. Gus Gargett had to pack up and leave. <coughs> the butcher had to drive away with an empty truck. Milk checks got bigger without any more work. It wasn't long before the mortgage was paid off. Curses! The fences got fixed, the barn and equipment repaired and painted, and the cows all contentedly making money for Mr. Farmer. As for this free book about the surge milker, it, 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 actually, you know, don't. I mean, this comic is 70 years old. This address is very likely wildly inaccurate by now. Uh, oh, <clears throat> no calf, no man, and no machine can do a safe, satisfactory, and complete job of milking cows without tug and pull. They never have, they never will. There, here, there, everywhere.